So on this 1.3 liter four cylinder gasoline turbocharged engine, we're gonna find three air pressure sensors. One is gonna be on the intake manifold. One is gonna be before the throttle body. And next to it is gonna be the intake air temperature sensor. And then we've got one right before the turbocharger. Now it's kind of interesting that on the scan tool, I could read also the air flow rate, mass airflow sensor, but I don't see any mass airflow sensor on the intake pipe. So as usual, I just compare the live data of different sensors. And these two are the ones which I get access to with this scan tool. And after this value is changing, we need to see also the pressure change. We first have the reaction on the throttle position with orange and then the intake manifold pressure is also reacting. And again, when it goes down, we've got first the throttle body going down because we let off the acceleration pedal. And then just a few milliseconds after that, we've got also the pressure change. This is a healthy reaction. This is what you want to see. Next, let's go ahead and check the voltage values you have to read at the connectors of these MAP sensors. Okay, so the ignition is on and you can already notice that the throttle body is not being activated. You cannot hear the flap, basically the duty cycle on the throttle body and that's something new. Okay, so I'm gonna connect this negative terminal of the voltmeter on the ground. For example, here, let's actually unplug this sensor. So this is a pressure sensor and it looks like it's not filled with oil and therefore does not need cleaning. This is the part number if you need it. Let's plug it in back. So the ignition is on. I'm holding the sensor this way. I'm gonna start with the left pin, left wire here. We've got five volts. That's probably the reference. The middle one, this is gonna be the ground. And the right one, it's 4.3. The voltage will change if we change the pressure here. As you can see, if I tap on it, the voltage is increasing, pressurizing some air in there. Okay, so it comes back to the same value. So this is an easy test. Now let's see if we got a good ground. I've got one of the terminals on the ground there. And let's see, once I connect here, we need to read 12 volts. And we do read 12 volts. We've got good ground to the sensor. Now let's unplug it and let's see the left pin five volts and this one is 4.9 so this is the signal wire now i want to do a bench test i'm going to turn the voltmeter to ohms so we've got one two three between one and two we've got 3600 ohms between one and three 2300 ohms so between pin number two and three 2500 ohms we can connect this back. The O-ring looks good and it does seal. Now for these other two map sensors, we're gonna find exactly the same values. Five volts, this is the reference. This is the ground and this is the signal wire. Exactly the same values as on the first one. I can also inspect to see if there is oil inside the intake manifold. This is the easiest way to do. You just remove the map sensor. If you want to remove the sensor, you just need a T20. The same is gonna be for this one. Now let me quickly show you as well the intake air temperature sensor. I'm holding the connector with the clip down. Let's see from the left, five volts. And on the right, we've got nothing because the sensor is not connected. We definitely found the ground because now if I take the negative terminal of the voltmeter and connect it to the plus of the battery, we're gonna read 12 volts. So we have a good ground. So for example, now if we have a trouble code for the intake air temperature sensor, we know that the connector is good and it's delivering the right amount of voltage and the ground is okay. So it has to be something from the connector to the sensor which goes wrong. It can be also corrosion. This sensor is pointed up it can easily collect water if for example you leave the hood open when it's raining so you have to inspect for all these details okay guys so that was a quick check on the air sensors thanks for watching take care and have a nice day